think uh, Prince Holly is turning the corner? I do. I think Prince had a nice day today. I, you know, I, he flashed to me a few times. Um, you know, I, I said this to him, so I don't mind saying it to you, but I, you know, I think when I've seen him, and obviously I recruited Prince out of high school and formed a really close relationship with him, and he's had a challenged time to this point in his career. Um, but early on, even like in our OTAs and stuff, there was a there was a clear gap between his kind of, um, well, I guess just execution and like just the, the style of play. The gap between he and the guys that were running with that first group, he's closed that gap this spring. Um, now there's, I think there's more left for him. I think we're only starting to scratch his potential. Um, but that's, you know, that's why he can go have a great summer and a great fall camp and position himself to, to be a factor in us winning this fall. But I'm very proud of Prince and I think he's made tremendous progress here this, this winter and spring. Clark, for you personally, how, how different was this spring taking over the defense but also having a lot of new faces, players, a lot of new faces on your staff? And, and, and this, do you feel like the difference was, was a good thing? I do. I think, I think um, first of all, this is the most fun I've ever had coaching. So, you know, what, whatever that amounts to, you know, it means a lot to me because I think we're in a, in a time right now in college athletics where you can choose to be miserable amongst the chaos or you can choose to kind of find joy in what you're a part of. And to get back in the classroom as a teacher, to get back around a group, to share my passion with them, um, to inspire them to more, that has been so much fun. I also think I've gotten better, you know, in my role because I see it a little differently now, having been head coach for a few years. Um, so the change for me has been uh, reinvigorating. I'm, I'm, I'm um, no matter how the day's going, when I get in front of that defensive group, I mean, I'm excited to be there, and they're getting my absolute best. Um, as far as the changes on the staff, I think um, it, I think it's a very healthy. Um, transformation. I think it gives, first of all, we brought guys in that, that don't question what can be done here. They know that we are going to win here. They've done it in their past at places that have similar climbs. And so it's every day they're stepping into that confidence. And I think you start approaching problems not as, you know, why is this happening, but what are we going to do? What's the action we're taking to get on the back end of this, um, to, to the success we know we can have? That, that mindset is so important in this part of our program build, um, and it's infectious. And so, uh, particularly on the offensive side, to see that attitude. Um, and I think this spring offensively, you know, I, I felt like um, there was there was a, a kind of a stride hit there in the second week where I felt like I saw real progress. And I think we plateaued a little bit, which is natural. The depth uh, got, got, um, got hurt by injury. Um, but even through all that, you saw the attitude, the confidence, and the expectation that we're going to step out and win. That starts with the coaches. They've done a great job. And um, I've just, I've, again, I've had a blast. You know, what that counts for, we're going to have fun every day we go come into work, and we're going to do a lot of hard things together, but we're going to have fun doing it. When do you think um, Grayson Morgan and Darren Agu will be um, By the time we're lined up. I mean, Grayson essentially was, was ready in practice. Um, he just, uh, you know, we wanted to be super ca cautious with that. Um, and, and that's an area, again, we've had depth issue there, we've had injury issue there this spring. Um, but um, it'll be nice to have those guys back healthy, he engaged in particular, and then to add some, some new bodies and, and, um, and go at it. Uh, Coach K's done a great job with those guys. I, I love listening to him teach, and um, uh, he's going to pull the best out of the guys he has. I, I, I know that for a fact. <laughs> Um, I thought we I thought we played well. I mean, I think part of part of it is you're, you're you know we, we need to we need to build out offensive skill too. So we learn a little bit more about where our deficiencies are. But I think on the whole, you know, we, we covered well. We have a little deeper understanding of the leverages and and what we want out of that group. I thought. Um, you know, we, we have a little bit of a uh, safety depth issue right now that, that will, will get better, that will improve. Um, but um, the guys that we have, I feel like, are, um, are positioned to be successful. So I'm pleased with it. You know, again, in our league, you got to be able to cover. And if you can't cover, you're going to have problems. And you got to be able to contest space. And if you can't contest space, you're going to have problems. And so 
though we're pleased with where we are, we know that we have a long way to go before we're ready to play. Any changes coming in, communication to the helmets, and then also uh, two-minute warning, any thoughts on that? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, obviously our, our game's evolving to look a little more like the NFL game, and there's there's been a lot of football played with helmet communication and two-minute warnings that, you know, we'll be paying attention to that. And, It'll, it'll subtly change, you know, some strategy at into half, into game situations. Yeah, I don't know. I think offensively as a huddle team, you know, the helmet communication can really help. I think defensively um, it's going to give opportunity to communicate to someone on the field, but, you know, we're, we're going to still need to rely on uh, nonverbal um, because of offensive tempo and that kind of thing. So um, we're, we've used it this spring. We'll we'll uh, we'll be ready for it this fall, but I don't I don't expect anything dramatic in terms of change. That's right. Thank All right. You. Hey, appreciate y'all being out here. Thanks a lot. Good to see you, buddy.